Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a week ahead for Sagittarius. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of August 16th, no, 17th, August 17th through the 23rd. So what do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius for the week of August 17th? the 23rd. There's one. There we go. Dogs getting together with friends. Peacock Beware of great pride. Hammock. Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. You may be taking a vacation, Sagittarius. Beware of great pride. You're going to be getting together with friends. What do we have for Sagittarius for the week ahead? August 17th through the 23rd. What do we have for Sagittarius? Seven of Coins reversed. Now this is unrealistic. Something is dissatisfying. Mm. Is it worth it? Are you, are you investing in something that isn't worth it? It's just not worth it. There could be some cheating going on or deception. It's not worth it. Three of Cups. Yeah, there could be something. Well, Three of Cups is partying, having fun. It could be cheating. We could have a third-party situation. Is it really worth it? Are you thinking about this? This could be overdoing it. This is celebrating, having fun. You know, you are going to be getting together with friends. you got to be careful. Be careful. This is some sort of... You do have to be careful. I know that you do. Um, but this is having fun. The Three of Cups is having fun, getting together with friends. It is. Six of Swords. Uh, Six of Swords. It looks like you are in some sort of. Um, well, it looks like it's choppy. It looks like the the waters are choppy. There's there's a uh, stormy weather, perhaps, or it's uh, there's turbulence. There's turbulence here. I think that you definitely need to be careful. I think you're steering yourself out of a situation, or you will be. Probably you could get, you could get yourself into trouble, okay? Because this is trouble. It is trouble. But I think you have the ability to get out of it in some way. You may have. Hopefully, you have the ability. But anyway, Four of Cups. This is missing an opportunity. Not interested. Um, discontent. Really focusing on something. You've got your mind set on something and you're missing an opportunity. You're missing some sort of opportunity, Sagittarius. You are. You're missing an opportunity because your mind is set on one thing. You may find yourself unhappy by the end of the week. This is not happy, okay? This is discontent. You know, you're thinking about something that has happened. You're missing something. You're missing, or you missed an opportunity. Something has happened. Now, the tower is, you know, there's consequences for your actions. You may have avoided them in the past, but I don't think you're going to be able to, you can't avoid them forever when you get the tower in reversed. There's going to be a change, okay? This is the universe that is changing something in your life that you have been trying to avoid. You've been trying to avoid change. And the universe has, has let you get away with it, right? They've let you get away with it for some time, but you can't get away with it forever. So the tower reversed is extreme health problems. There could be a fight. This is a painful change that you have been able to avoid for some time. But I don't think you're going to be able to avoid it anymore. I feel like uh, you may have been unrealistic. You may have been, you know, out partying, overdoing it. And there's going to be, you know, a disruption. There is going to be a disruption. This is an event 
that you know you you you've been avoiding it you've been doing good you know but it's over you you can't avoid it anymore though your your life is about to change and it is unavoidable okay so your life is going to change i think you've been going overboard and i know i think of you know trying to prove something perhaps you're, you're trying to build something up that was Maybe it was a false sense of security and you've been able to do it for the, so long. You've been able to get away with it, but something is going to happen that causes a major disruption and things are going to crumble because you can't be, uh, you can't keep it up forever. It's, it, you can't keep doing this forever. Okay. King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is somebody that is very decisive, somebody that makes a decision. This could be somebody in authority, somebody in, in the law, somebody in protection services. This is a director or a judge or um, a police officer or um, somebody that is very authoritative put it that way this is a, somebody that is making a decision it looks like it's it's somebody it looks like a judge to me it does look like a judge but it may not be a judge it could be anybody else whoever this person is they are very discerning uh they're very logical and they make a decision based on the truth okay so somebody is this is somebody that is in a position of authority you may be this you, there could be some legal issues this week put it that way they may see this is instability they may see your instability or they may see that you ha that you know you're being unrealistic or you're uh this could be playing games very sneaky behavior uh something is going on here this is dealings i feel like it has to do with a law you may be dealing with a law this week Two of coins. Now, this is definitely missing something. This is missing something, and this is missing something. I think that you have been juggling. You've been trying to do too much. I think you've been going back and forth quite a bit. You're trying to find balance. You're going to need to be flexible. I think that you're going to be need to be flexible. I think that you, you know, um, this is about making a decision, and I think, and maybe this person is making the decision. Maybe it's not you. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, though. This is somebody that is in a position of authority, and this is a decision, and this is a decision. So somebody is, is in the process of making a decision. And it may have something to do with moving. This may have something to do with moving, and this one may as well. So something to somebody may be moving. Maybe they need to go to a better place. If they would, you know, on the other side is peace and harmony, and, um, and maybe it's even serenity. Whatever's over here, it's a lot more peaceful. So you may be somebody may be making a decision to move to a better place. This is maybe not very comfortable with it, feeling uh, uh, taking a really long time to make this decision. Put it that way. Somebody is taking their sweet little time making a decision. In the meantime, things are getting worse. They're getting worse and worse and worse and worse. There's overanalyzing here. And you may be the one that is overanalyzing, or it could be this person. Somebody is overanalyzing. They're really thinking about their next move, what they need to do. Um, Queen of Swords. Oh my gosh. You may be dealing with a couple of people that are making a decision. Um, this is a team. You may be working. You may. There could be a team here. Um, the Queen of Swords is very forthright, very factual. Um, she knows her stuff, okay? She has some sort of information and she, and she speaks up about it. She's very honest and, and authentic and she speaks her truth. Looks like she's got the power. That is the sort of power. It is the sort of truth. So I think that we have an individual that is going to be communicating some sort of information that causes a major disruption in your life. I mean, this is disruption. This is a tower moment. You are going to be experiencing a tower moment that you have been avoiding. Okay, you've been avoiding it, but you can't avoid it forever. It may have to do with drinking or partying or something to do with your friends doing something. It could be, even be something. I don't know if it's against the law, but this is cheating. Okay, it's it's. It's deception. It is. 
It is. So I'm not sure what is going on. You may have been you may have been able to get away with whatever you were doing for some time and it doesn't and I don't know what it is. But this person's been getting away with it. They're not gonna you can't get away with it anymore. It's like you see here there's card here and there's cards here. It's like somebody just pulls the card out. They 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 pull out they they pull out one piece, okay, and everything crumbles. Something crumbles. A piece falls out. It's like it falls out. Okay, there's some sort of fallout. That's what I think. And uh, anyhow, I think that we have a very um, powerful individual here who has some information that they are going to speak. They are going to speak of that is going to cause some sort of something you built, something that you've been able to. It's going to crumble. Something in your life is. It's gonna crumble, and it's it's gonna be a shock. I think it, you've been avoiding it, and you may be you may be shocked that this happens. Okay, because it is a, it is a shock. It's it's a major disturbance. Um, this is this is somebody who is very intelligent. This person is intelligent. They, um, they think, they think, 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 and they, they, uh, they come, they, they, they may show somebody another perspective. You know what I mean? Nine of cups reversed and temperance. It's a change for you. This is a change for you. Your life is, is definitely about to change. Now death, I mean death. I don't know if you're dealing with a death. You may or may not be. But temperance comes after the death card. This is about finding balance. Managing your feelings. Um, a need to cooperate. Um, acceptance. Change and renewal after death. Okay? You are going to be going through a major change that you have been avoiding. You've been avoiding this disruption. You've been avoiding this universal change. But somebody has some sort of information that is going to change your life, whether you like it or not. Okay. Um, this is this is uh, everything happens for a reason. It happens for a purpose. I feel like you are going to be um, unhappy. Okay, with the nine of cups reversed. This isn't the. This isn't a lot of happiness. It's not. It's it's dissatisfied. I think that this isn't what you were hoping for. And maybe it's not what this person was hoping for. But everything happens for a reason. So I feel like this week you are... You may have even ignored an opportunity. You may have ignored an opportunity um, to to stop something from happening. You know, you could, you, could have, you could have turned it off. You could have stopped. But you were choosing not to. You were you were going overboard. You were choosing to be in your own little mind. You were choosing to ignore something that was happening. You were. So I think because you were cho choosing to ignore what needed to be done, because you were in your own little mind, that you know you're going to be very dissatisfied with the change that is coming your way. So there's going to be a change, and I think there's a decision that is being made. Uh, based on some sort of facts that is going to um, cause you some sort of internal disruption. This could be, I think it has to do with the law. I do feel like it has to do with the law. Um, or it has to do with drinking or friends or partying or something like that. Or cheating. Could have to do with cheating. Could have to do with getting caught. Um, whatever is happening... Um, you may be moving or somebody that you live with may be moving because of this six of swords this is moving to a better place going to a better place but i think that this week it's going you're going to be dealing with some sort of uh well it's very choppy you know it's it's very you know if you think about when you're on that cruise ship and it's going through the waters and it's going really fast and it's it's kind of scary it feels like it's scary you may be in some sort of scary situation um i think you're in a situation where 
you need to you need to uh, leave it behind. You need you need to leave something behind, and I think you've been resisting it. And I feel like the universe, because this is the universe, comes in. You can't avoid. You've avoided it. You can't avoid it anymore. The universe is going to come in, and they you're you're there. This could be an accident that you never saw coming. Not sure what it is. Like somebody just pulls something out. You know what I mean? It's like because we have a card here. It's like it's one slip, one slip, and it's over. So there's a slip. There is a slip. That's what we got here. There's a slip, and I feel like um, this is a change that needs to happen. You're gonna need to accept this change. Um, I think that there's been overdoing it. Somebody has been going overboard. And um, you probably need to be grounded. And you, maybe you've been too fluid and it's time for you to get grounded. Um, this is a lesson. I think that somebody, is, whoever is watching this, is going to be learning a lesson. They've been trying to avoid. They've been trying to avoid uh, getting caught or something like that. But they're going to get caught. They're, somebody's about to get caught. And it feels like the law steps in and, and takes them to a better place, whatever that means. Um, this two of coins is a profit and a loss. It really is. But this person is procrastinating. There's a lot of procrastinating here. And there's indecision. And I think that there is a decision that is going to be made. This per I feel like there's this problem, whatever it is, has been ignored. It's been ignored for too long and it can't be ignored anymore this is could be a ruler a judge or something like that that is uh, making a decision I don't think you're going to be happy with the decision but this is forced change it is it's forced change brought on by the universe um, this is part of your your Evolving. Okay. So yeah, some of you are going to be taking a vacation, physically or mentally, courtesy of the universe. The universe is going to cause something in your life that you have been building that is based on false pretenses, that is false, that is not stable, it's not secure, it's not helping you, it's not serving you anymore. It's go The universe is going to rip it out. Okay, they're going to rip it away. They're going to cause it to crash. Okay, whatever it is that you have been in that is not really stable, it's not really uh, built to last, is it gonna, it's going to crumble. Okay, it's going to crumble. And when it crumbles, it's going to crumble fast. Okay, you're going to be taking a, a vacation physically or mentally. And I think that pride has gotten in the way. Pride has gotten in the way of you seeing that you had an opportunity to fix this or, or go someplace else or do it with integrity or whatever it is or to stop whatever you're doing. I think that there's pride that has gotten in the way and pride is ego has gotten and this is ego as well. Ego may have gotten in the way of you making the most uh, logical decision. So I think a decision is going to be made for you. Um, Getting together with friends. I think this, this this getting together is what starts the whole thing. Isn't this the first card that came out? It went from this to this to this. So that's the way it should be going. So you get together with friends. Then there's ego that gets in the way because pride is ego. And then you end up taking a vacation, you know, physically or mentally. And, and this could be, it doesn't have to be all bad. You may be leaving something behind that was false. Okay, this is a false sense of security. You've been avoiding it. Maybe you make the decision to leave it behind because this is some. This is a decision maker, somebody that is discerning, that sees the truth and decides to go someplace else. So somebody is going someplace else. They are leaving something behind that, you know, have really hasn't uh, brought them a whole lot of stability. So my advice is to get prepared for um, some movement in your life. There's going to be some movement. You can't ignore this change anymore. You can't ignore it. You can't avoid it. 
You've avoided it up until now. I feel like somebody's making the decision for you, but I could be wrong. Could be you. You could be making the decision. Good luck.